Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. So when you work in 3D Studio Max, you always have to organize your scene and keep it neat and clean so that you can work more efficiently. Otherwise, it will be very hard for you to work, especially when you're working in a team. So let's see how we can organize our scene and learn in this lesson. Oh my God, hurry up, Ray, we have to go. What are you doing? I'm organizing our room. Quickly, oh my God. Okay, so this lesson is about organizing your files because organizing files always keep you on track. If your files are not organized, if your scene is not organized, you will be always confused, you will lose your file sometimes you will not have track of your objects okay and it will create problems for you okay so uh, we'll see how to organize files and how it works basically to organize anything you have the explorer on your left side okay so whatever you create suppose i'm creating a box okay and on the top of the box if i'm creating a teapot okay so I will put it here and maybe I'm making uh, another box here and then I will go to extended primitives then I will make a maybe a chamfer box okay now maybe this chamfer box is like a television so imagine like it's a television so this is like a small scene I have created now first thing the first rule of organizing your scene is to have a perfect naming convention because if you have this kind of scene without a uh, like a naming convention so it will be always problem for you because box one box two which box uh, box one is what box two is what chamfer box is what teapot is what so you will always have uh, issues with this so always try to give it uh, like a naming convention like rename them okay like suppose if i want to rename it i can either rename it from here from the uh, explorer or from here okay so what you need to do is that just click your box okay you go to uh, like modify and then you will you can rename from here okay i can name it table okay simple i have the name table here and you can see it's table now how to rename from here so you can click one time then second time when you click it so it will allow you to rename it so this one can be tv stand so this is tv stand okay now chamfer box this maybe it's a tv so i will click again and i will name it tv now teapot click it again to rename it and i can name it teapot for karak chai Okay, sounds uh, very tempting. Okay, if you don't know Karak Chai, what Karak Chai is, it's basically, uh, you know, a South Indian uh, tea, which is very strong, okay, and very sweet. So that's why it's called Karak. Karak means strong. So now we have naming conventions, which looks fine. Okay. Another thing that you can do is that, suppose if you don't want any object uh, to work on okay and uh, it's just there and you don't you are not sure that you want it right now or maybe you don't want to delete it so simple what you can do is that let me make it a little bigger this uh, explorer you can hide it like suppose i don't want to see the teapot so i can go to teapot i can hide the teapot so teapot will be not there okay so but in this case i don't i don't want to hide it i will keep it okay and suppose I, I'm working on my object, I'm working on these two. But all the time when I'm working, this disturbs me, okay? I, by mistake, maybe if I'm, I'm, my angle is like this, if I try to click over here, or if, I, if I'm working from the left viewport, if I click here, so this always like selects, okay? It's disturbing me. So what I can do is that I can select this, go to the TV stand here and freeze it. So next time, this will be not selected. So every frozen object will be turned into a uh, gray. Okay, so I, I can unfreeze it. Clear? So this is how you can freeze, unfreeze, hide, and these kind of things you can do. Now you can also make group. Now this can be in one group, 
and this can be in one group okay so how to make a group select the objects which you want to make a group like suppose these two then you can go to group inside the group on the top you can see group and i will go to the group it will ask me what is the name of the group so i can write here table items okay so now i have a group here in the explorer you can see table items which you can collapse or uncollapse okay like with this small arrow here you can collapse or uncollapse okay i will leave it uncollapse so i can see what is inside so inside you can hide it freeze it okay but you cannot move it because it's a group so all of them will move together now here i can do the same thing I can select these two group them and i can see here maybe i can say tv items something like that now i have here two explorers uh, two groups i can uncollapse both of them or collapse up to you but i want to keep it this way so now i can see that okay now suppose uh, i have a group i want to work on the television this like television right now not the uh, stand so now I cannot do that because it's a group. So even if I will select only the television here and try to move it, the whole groups move. So how only to select it, okay? One way to do is that you have to ungroup it, work on it, then group it back. But it's quite sound, you know, like, uh, okay, ungroup, group it back, then I have to select all the objects. It's not that easy to do. It's, it's, it's like it's time consuming and it's like, you know, frustrating because maybe you're, you have 100 objects and you have to select all the 100 objects again and then group them again. So you don't ungroup it. There is an option called open. So what does the open do is that it allow you to select whatever you want to select inside the group, work on it and then close the group again. So if I will open it, you can see that now I can choose any object, work on it, and then I can close this group again, okay? So to close it, I don't have to select all the objects. I can select any one object and then close it and whole group will close, okay? Other than you can see this, this there are these pink corners. These pink corners uh, indicates the boundary of my group. Okay, like suppose if I will move this, uh, any one of it, okay, so you can see that the boundary is now extending. That means my group is, uh, the group boundary is now being extended, if you can see that, okay. So if I will go back to my group and close, simply the whole thing will be closed and you can see that this is how it will be group, but I don't want that, let me undo it and keep it back and then I can go in the group and I can, I can close it. So this is how you can uh, do if you want to work on single object inside the group, okay? So don't ungroup it, okay? If it, if it is two or one object, then it's fine. Otherwise, you don't have to ungroup it uh, if it is not necessary. You can only open it, work on it, then you can close it, okay? Now, this is it, uh, like a table with the teapot on it. Let me make one more object. Let me make a uh, uh, maybe like a vase or something like here, okay. And then I can put this vase on the top of this uh, table. So to put it, as I told you before, always use your orthographic reports. So this is, I think, quite bigger. So let me make it smaller as the radius, both of the radiuses. Now it's fine, okay? So I can obviously use my snap, right click on it and see if this ed uh, edge and segment is on. Yes, it is on. I can move this here a little bit and from the edge, I can move it to the edge of my table. Now I can turn this off and now from the top viewport I can move it anywhere I want. So and this way I'm sure the edge is connected to edge so nothing is penetrating through it or there is no gap. So now I'm sure. But this was is still not the part of my 
table items okay so if i will show you here uh this is a tv item table item now my tube is separate my table item is separate now if you will try to drag this and drop it inside the table items like you can do that in uh, maya or maybe in photoshop but here it does not work in this way i cannot do that okay so what can be done only is that you can select this object and i want this object to be member of the table item so what i can do i can select this object go to group go to attach and then select the items like uh, that part that you want to make a group of okay like this one so i will make uh, i will select this one now just go here in the explorer and see in the table items now there is a table there is a teapot and there is a tube also now if i can easily move it wherever i want okay i can rename it okay to whatever i want but you know uh there is no flowers inside so i will only write ways okay so this is how you can work with your uh like groups you can ungroup it you can open it up you can add members to the group by attaching them so there are so many things that you can go work with the group and it will help you a lot okay so i hope you have understood about the groups and how the groups work basically and how the groups uh and how the grouping uh, helps you okay so until uh we go to the next lesson in the next class so take care and please do subscribe to my channel if not you have uh, if you have not subscribed it uh, yet and please do not forget to click the bell icon okay because uh, if the bell icon is not pressed you will not be notified with the new tutorials which i will be uploading soon very good tutorials will be coming up very good uh, like videos and so many other things so many new concepts will be coming up so please make sure you have clicked on the bell icon and also please watch all my videos online without downloading them because if you will download them then i will not have enough watch time hours and it will be a problem for me okay so guys take care and see you in the next lesson